We have been telling you about this story for months. The man charged with murdering his estranged wife is now on house arrest. Fotis Dulos released on $6 million bond in the state of Connecticut just days after he was charged with her murder. Dulos's ex-girlfriend and his former attorney have also both been charged with conspiracy to commit murder. But the body of Jennifer Dulos has yet to be found. Where is she? And if she's dead, can prosecutors secure a conviction without the body? Join us right now with Insight, forensic pathologist and Fox News contributor, Dr. Michael Bodden. Dr. How do you Bodden, do? Good, good to, to see you. you. Okay. Um, they presume she's dead. They've got a whole bunch of evidence, uh, DNA evidence, of her blood. That's right. Her, her blood and his blood, both found in her house and in her car and on the uh, clothing and all that was dumped in various uh, garbage cans. Mm -hmm. So apparently the medical examiner in Connecticut has already said that there was enough evidence that she was bleeding sufficiently to be a cause of death and that he was the only person with her while she was bleeding. Uh, she was with her, not the only person, but his DNA is there. So I think in this kind of situation, they have enough evidence, even if uh, they don't find the body, and even if there isn't blood on that, they have an ax with some blood on it they're testing. We don't know the result of it. Right. But even if that blood doesn't turn out to be hers, uh, they've got enough evidence as shown in the indictment. Right. A lot of people are shocked it has taken this long because they'd, they'd had that evidence for a while, but now we hear that his former attorney has been uh, charged as well, and apparently his cell phone pinged a tower on May 31st near the that, Windsor Rod and Gun Club where hunters found a hole dug into the ground. Yeah. What's that about? That's bizarre that apparently his friend, the lawyer, dug a, a grave but and then they covered it up. But when the police uh, went into that area, they found that there'd been a, a hole uh, dug, but there was no body there. Okay, uh, so we'll keep people uh, posted on the Dulos case. In the meantime, we all saw you on 60 Minutes talking about the Jeffrey Epstein case. Now the news overnight is apparently. Uh, remember, there was no video apparently of the cell the night. In, right. quest, or in question, the first suicide attempt, and then they said, oh, we found it, never mind. It. Then yesterday we discovered that apparently the video that they saved is from the wrong camera. Yeah, that, that is the, the, there was a hold put on the video uh, at the time that uh, there was the questionable suicide attempt because right. the cellmate says he tried to commit suicide, but he told lawyers, uh, Epstein, that no, that he was assaulted. B by his roommate. Presumably by, by the cellmate, yeah. yeah. Uh, and uh, then uh, the lawyer, the, the, his lawyer, the police officer, the roommate's lawyer, put a hold on the videotape. They wanted to see what the video was. They were supposed to save that video from the first incident. Did anybody else come yeah. into the room? And they told the judge they didn't have it. Then they said they did have it. And now it, it's like yeah. a, a, a terrible way to run a prison. <laughs> you no kidding, uh, because it was like the perfect storm. All the all these things, you know, the EMTs come in, they see the dead body, they pick them up, they don't take any pictures, they take them to the hospital. Then, as is depicted in the 60 Minutes article of the item, uh, why did he hang himself with a sheet when there are a bunch of ap sleep apnea machines with with, with why, cords with around? Cord. Could have done it with that much quicker. And and the and the uh, sheet, the noose from the orange sheet that he had, doesn't match the ligature mark on the neck. Right, and, and you showed that usually with this kind of thing, uh, the the mark is not in the center of the neck as it is on the autopsy picture, but instead it's much higher. In a hanging, ca in a hanging, the ligature. Uh, goes up under the uh, jawbone, the mandible. Here it was down lower, more yeah. like a garrot, you know, the, the kind of thing they do on yeah. uh, the mafia cars and so on, where they got tight crushing of, of the neck that crushes three different right. bones in the neck, which is extremely unusual right. in suicide, uh, hanging. And a couple of months ago, you were on this show, and you, you told us and you electrified the world by saying what you saw, and you were hired by the Epstein family to, to uh, supervise and, and review the autopsy, right. that it looked like it was a homicide, not a suicide. Uh, and people are going, yeah, if Dr. Bodden says that, because it's so rare for this to happen, 
And it just looked, there are mm. all these other things that went wrong that night. It, to so many people, it looks like he got whacked in jail. That's certainly a, a possibility, and the, there should be some transparency. What did the two guards see when they went in the cell and found him dead? What did the EMT people see? What did they put on their record? The, the hospital that he was brought to, none of that has been released, and all of that will help determine uh, whether he died of suicide or died of uh, homicide. We know what you think. Well, I think it's right now, just from the medical stuff, the autopsy pointing more to, to homicide, but they got to get yeah. all the information before making a, a final decision. No kidding. All right, Dr. Bodden, thank you very much. Good to see you, Steve. We did reach out to the Federal Bureau of Prisons for comment. They have not called us back.